Well, hey there, <clears throat> this is Chris Allison, and uh, I figured I would do a little video on the case, what's in here, how to get it out, how to get it back in. And uh, so, <clears throat> in this case here, you're gonna find a couple of latches here, a couple of latches there, and you open it up. The first layer, you're gonna be seeing this plate here. It's a quarter inch plate, powder coated, very sturdy, and uh, last, the finish lasts a very long time. You pull that out, and um, I guess what you'll notice is <clears throat> the way I have it in here is it's all the way over to the left, and these little pads here are up so that pads come up against the top of the case. It holds it nicely. The top of the macro focusing rail is right here, but when the plate is over to the side, it doesn't interact with that at all. So we pull this up. And I put it in the case like that. You're going to notice this layer here. And then this layer's got the face mounts sitting in it. We're going to pull that out. Put that aside. And um, then I'm pulling the foam out. The foam is a little bit delicate, so you want to be a little bit careful about a couple of things. I've got it set up so that it's fairly tight in here, so you might want to pull this up just a little bit. And there's little things that it can get caught on on this macro focusing rail, so just be a little bit careful. Pull it out. There it is there. Putting that aside. And then we have the main layer that everything else is in. And so what you're going to notice is camera, chin rest, macro focusing rail, set of rechargeable batteries. There's going to there's going to be a set of rechargeable batteries in all of the equipment and this is an extra set of rechargeable batteries here so you'll always have it. So this is rechargeable batteries. This here is a charger for the battery that goes in the camera. And this is a Allen wrench that you use to attach the macro focusing rail and the faceplate which is over there onto the main aluminum plate. This here is a screwdriver <clears throat> and you notice this is a little battery pack and this little battery pack sits right there when the camera is all set up. And there is a little screw here which you use to get in. So you unscrew it like that, pull the top back and that allows you to replace the rechargeable batteries that are in there. I just let that sit in there it seems easy, it works well, it's not a big deal one way or the other. So we'll pull that out and we'll pull the camera out. And when you take a look at where the camera came from, there's a cutout here for this part of the camera that goes in. This here helps support the flash. This here helps support the lens. And um, okay, so when you're putting this together, that clips on there. This clips on here, and what you're looking at, and then this, <clears throat> the way I, I have this set up is that I attach this in like that, and turn this around so that the battery pack mounts onto the side of the flash like that. And then it's a nice straight shot in. There's a, oh, a zip cord here to hold the wires for the focusing lights in place. And also it holds in the side uh, fiber optics there. So everything is tight, nice looking. There you go. That's what it looks like all set up. So I have the wire running around the back and over the flash unit here down, and that seems to work the best. To turn the camera on, you flip this switch on there. That's the camera on. To turn the flash on, you put that over there like that. To turn the focusing lights on, you push that like that. You can see that they're on. And when this light is red, that means that the flash is ready to flash. There you go, it's flashed. So to turn it off, when you take a picture, then the image of what you just took is going to come right up here. It's going to have a five to seven or so view time. And um, that way you can see if the, if the image looks the way that you want it to. And um, okay, 
So that's that. So when you are taking a picture of some eye rides um, with the side focusing, that you'll take these little tabs off and leave this here in place. Now what this does is this locks the light coming out of the center and when you pull the little plastic caps off, now I don't know if you can see this, but the light will be able to come out of here, illuminate the sides of the eye rides so that you can get light in the sides of the eye rides. When you want to take a central image focus, then you put these on. I hope you can see it in the video. You put those on and take this out. And what that does is that allows the light to come from the center and not from the side. Now you're taking a center focused or center lighting image. So you put that on the way that it's stored. And the way that I have decided is there's, you get to take this off here. Using one hand is a lot easier when it's all set up. And then um, we put it in like this with these off, you tuck this in, make sure it's going down like that. Then I just tuck these wires in, tuck the fiber optics in, works fine like that. There you go. And put this in here. Now, when you're pulling this out, this has got a little knob here. I'm gonna check around the camera to make sure you can see that. Yes, great. So this has got a little knob there, and this little knob um, <laughs> is mounted inside the phone. So in order to get the macro focusing reel out, we take the camera, put it aside. Since you're setting it up, this will come out, this will come out, this will come out, and then we can take the foam out. Now, this foam is in there pretty tight, so you want to be a little bit careful that you don't tear it. It's, um, you know, pluck and pull foam, pluck and pull foam, so you want to be a little bit careful of that. And, and then this pulls out. I don't know if you can see it in their image, but probably there are some holes that are in this bottom layer of foam, which correlate to these guys right here. And so when you're putting it back in the case, you're going to make sure that this piece here is in alignment with that piece. So you have a straight section so that when it sits down inside the foam, it is um, all even and uh, standing up straight. So there you go. So I'm going to put it back to, in the case here, put that in, and then you're going to put this on top. Like so. Rechargeable batteries there. Camera battery pack there. Chin rest there. Camera sets in like this, making sure you have the foam spacer here to support the flash, making sure that you have the foam spacer here to support the lens. And then the battery pack for the battery pack for the focus lights there. Then we're gonna put <coughs> this foam back on in like that. It's all cut out. You'll notice when you when you get it. Uh, it's cut out for this, for the side lighting. It's cut out for this. Their lens cut, the lens cut out here. So this goes back on. Um, this, this corner here. Now, the way I've made it is I wanted to have nice firm foam attachment. So I pull the camera just a little bit to the side to allow the foam to go down behind the, the camera mount. And um, then you're gonna put <clears throat> the 
vase cradle in. Pull the foam from the top down. I kind of make sure that it's all lined up so that it's straight and nice. Then we're going to put the, the plate back in all the way over to the side in the middle. And then the top can come down. Sometimes you have to wiggle the latches a little bit to make sure that the whole thing goes down. Click there, click there, click there, click, click there. And when you shake it, it is nice, firm, tight, tidy, ready to go anywhere you are, staying safe and well packed. So I hope that's interesting. Hope it makes sense to you. And um, you have yourself a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.